Hello everyone, welcome back to Teggy Pocket, and welcome to Open the Box episode, uh, Open That Box episode 4. So these, one, two, four packages, I'm going to unbox this one, the smallest, I actually forgot my knife, gotta get that. Okay, got the knife, nope, that was a mistake, okay there. The package is actually right here, so I can cut this whole part open. There. It's just a, a DVI to VGA converter. Here, DVI to VGA. Simple as that. Nothing, nothing special. Let's put this on the side. Next package. This, I think I know what it is. This one I have to be a little more careful with. Let's try to make some room here. There's the package. That's the packaging slip. Get that out of the way these boxes. Okay. There you go. It's a 400 watt power supply from EVGA. It's non-modular. And let's go ahead and open up this box too. Now this box, I'm actually, I like keeping these PC boxes for like, uh, I, like on display. So I want to try and make sure I don't mess this box up. So I'm actually going to try and be gentle with this. Let's see if I can do this by hand. Yeah, I can get this, okay. Trying not to leave small parts. I want to make this a whole thing. <sighs> okay. There we go. There you go. Non-modular power supply. It comes with a your standard power plug for your PC. And then, of course, all the other plugs in there. And what's in there is, of course, your power supply itself. So, pack this back up. Get that. Uh, actually, let's put that over here. Let's put that with it. Okay, next package. This one I actually opened up already. scratch that wall. Okay, so let's see. New egg invoice. Bubble wrapping. Nah, not actually. I think that'll make too much noise. Okay, this is the HyperX Fury RAM that I ordered from New Egg. It's red, but um, that actually doesn't fit with the case I got. This is just for now. I will try and maybe somewhere around the road don't expect it anytime soon. It's going to be a long time before I change the color of these. Anyway, so these are red HyperX Fury Rams, or HyperX Fury, or Free or Fury HyperX, whatever. They're HyperX, so that's pretty good. I think it's DDR3, 1600 megahertz, and it's a 8 gigabyte kit, I think. Let me see. I think, yeah, wait. Whatever, I know. It's 8 gigabytes, so put that to the side. More bubble wrapping, more bubble wrapping, more bubble wrapping, and then let's hear this. This is an AMD FX 6300. I think it has a stock cooler in it. Hopefully it does. What's that? Yeah, 6 core, 3.5 gigahertz, 14 megabyte cache. We're not going to open that actually. Let's put that to the side. Next up, let's see what else is in here. Okay, this is it. Next up. The GeForce GTX 1050 Ti from MSI. 
It's 4GB GDDR5, it's DirectX 12 compatible. It's already overclocked, of course we're gonna try and overclock it better. That's that, let's see. Let's just uh, open this up too, I guess. Nothing really special. Okay, you get your uh, register to register it. Here's the card itself. Comes with anti-static. I actually am not going to open that up, but if you want to see that, I will open that up later. So let's put that away. Okay. And let's get this out of the way. I think this is the last thing in the box. Yep, that is. There we go. MSI 970 motherboard. It's a Z170 platform. Has Sound Blaster and all that stuff. Multi GPU support. I think it supports three way crossfire. I'm not sure. Let's see. How do we open this now? How does this open? Like something you gotta open up in here? I don't know. Oh, okay, there it is. That was a close one. Okay. That's some QR scan code? Who knows? Okay. There we go. Inside the box and the anti static wrapping is your motherboard. Again, I'm going to open this in another video because I'm not ready to open that yet. I'm not going to close that because that was so hard to open. And finally, the last box which is already open. <sighs> Let's see, how do we get this out? I think I'm going to just dump it this way. Okay, this is the Rosewill Nautilus case. I did a review of this a long time ago. Ugh, I haven't peeled off the... Huh, okay, I haven't peeled off the plastic yet because I don't want to get that dirty while I'm building it. It has two USB 2.0s on the top and 3.0 uh, power and reset buttons, audio microphone jacks, a um, fan up top here. Yeah, it's actually getting dusty. And then a fan back here. I don't, I don't remember the size of that. Seven expansion uh, slots, usual. Man, I hit the wall again. Ugh. Has a plastic side panel, I believe. And then a blue, um, two blue LED fans up front. And on the inside, you have the drive bays and all that. So that's it. Let me try and assemble this on the table. There you go, guys. That's all the stuff we unboxed today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and drop your comments down below. I'll try to get a link for each of these parts all in the description down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.